Welcome back to Ohio Country today. Big Dan Wilson alongside of JP Metz here at Dad's Toy Shop, one of our fine sponsors on our TV show, of course, here our podcast and our radio show. JP, we really appreciate your sponsorship. And one of the things that you're involved in is a real cool event coming up on February 18th. Why don't you talk about it? This is the Lark's uh, Swap and Fly at the high school, and it opens up there at uh, 9 to 12 is when the doors are open for the public. You can also get a table there for $15, and uh, vendors are welcome to start coming in at 8 o'clock. Um, the nice thing about it is it does help sponsor the softball team. Part of the proceeds go to the soft Walpock softball team. Uh, it's a really a great event. You can come in, and then there's flying in the gym. If you want to fly in the gym, bring a small aircraft. We can fly in the gym, swap, grab new items, grab some used items, or bring your old items in so you can get a little bit of cash back out of it. There's a couple uh, acronyms we want to talk about. What is LARCS and, of course, the AMA, the people who will be there flying most of the time, right? Yes, uh, it's required that you have AMA, which is Academy of Model Aeronautics, and the LARCs have that, which is Lima Area Radio Control Society. We're off of 309. There's a flying field, and you need the AMA so you have insurance coverage out at our field. So how do you get AMA certification there, JP? You have to go on. You need to go online, or we have paperwork here that you can fill out and get the certification from AMA. And now also you need other certifications. If you want to fly a jet, there's an add-on for that. And it's just because the speed of the jet, you know, we're limited to 200 mile an hour. But <laughs> when you got a model running 200 mile an hour, yeah, yeah it can go across that 300-foot runway we have there at the Larks in yeah, just a few seconds. Uh, let's talk about this event again. The swap meet is is pretty cool where you can come in and uh, maybe pick up some of those parts that you're looking for. More importantly, get an opportunity to see some of the experts fly their plane indoors. And that's a lot of fun for people who are thinking about getting started as well, right? Yeah, it'd be a good place to think about getting started. And we, you can come in. There is a $5 fee for coming and if you don't want to swap or you don't want to fly, but you can come in and look around, see what's going on. The kids under 12 get in free, so bring the kids. Let's talk about what the, what the swapping is all about. You know, Is it used and new, or is it parts, or a combination of both? Well, for the hobby shop here, Dad's, we bring new items, obviously, to sell. But at the same time, you can come in and you can buy used equipment. You can come in and buy, bring your used plane to sell as well. And when you're inside like that, obviously you're restricted to what type of plane. So what can we see when we come to that event and what they're flying indoors there at the gym? If you're flying indoors, it's usually something that's got a 12, 12 to 18 inch wingspan. Yeah, some guys that are better than what I am at flying, they can bring in a larger aircraft. But it's nothing that you'd bring a 70 or 80 inch airplane unless it was a glider, something that's really slow because the gym gets quite small. <laughs> well, let's talk about people coming from all over the state that want to participate and check out the swap meet. What are what can they expect when they get there? Well, first off, you got to come in. You got to register. Uh, you pay a fee if you got a table. There are pre registrations available if you call Dad's Toy Shop. Uh, we can register ahead of time and get you tables. There's like fifty tables that are available, and uh, so stop in. We can help you. You know, when it comes to remote control, cars, trucks, planes, and boats, Dad's Toy Shop is the place to go. But uh, we want to talk about the Larks again and talk about the different planes that are out there. How have you seen that transition? I mean, let's talk about uh, where you've been, where you're at today, and where some of these remote control uh, airplanes are going to. Well, from our end of it, and from what has happened, Dad's Toy Shop started in 1975, and the only thing we really had at that time was nitromethanol-fired aircraft. The engines was nitro-powered, and they what I like about them, they made noise and they smelled good but, <laughs> from the exhaust. But um, And you can get all the way up. I've seen customers come out with planes it's got a 12 foot wingspan on it at the larks also i've seen jets out there that you know we have a limit of 200 mile an hour and if you've not seen a jet come across that and it is a real turbine when i talk jet we're talking a unit that's about this big around and has like 45 pounds of thrust so it's not just a prop airplane now everything a lot of the 
aircraft has transitioned over to electric with the invention of the lipo batteries and brushless motor technology we can go faster than what a lot of the nitro planes used to be able yeah, what can you tell us about organizations like the larks that are around the buckeye state here there are organizations all over the United States and in our area. There's a Salina Club, I know, there's a St. Mary's Club, but if you go online to Academy of Model Aeronautics, you can look in your area by zip code and they'll show you what the latest and greatest of the clubs are. It'll show activities as well. If you go to what's going on or their website, it shows activities going on. And before we let you go, let's talk about the affordability of getting involved in uh in this type of uh, activity? Well, I've got planes that uh, start at like $100, something for flying indoors. It has everything with it. In other words, it's not like when we first started where you had to buy a radio, you had to buy the engine, you had, you had to put the kit together, which could take up to 40 hours. So today you can go out, grab, grab one of our kits here, pay for it, and go out and play. Um, you also have trainer kits. They're electric again, and you're looking at about $399, $299. Depends on how you get it equipped. When you buy the new stuff, because it's on 2.4 gigahertz, you don't have to worry about being on a different ch on somebody else's channel because they all give their own channel. When you turn the radio on, they they talk to each other, the receiver and the radio. Also, if you'd say, I'd like to have another new plane with a new technology, you can just bind that plane to the radio, and now you've got two planes on radio, one radio. So you don't have to buy multiple radios. Now, of course, people can go multiple places if they want to get their remote control devices but or their remote control uh, uh, vehicles, whether it's a car, truck, plane, or boat. But coming to Dad's is something special. And one of the facts is, is that uh, you guys have this great wall of parts behind us. So it's more than just selling a, a product to somebody. It's also being able to maintain it, right? Yes. In all honesty, when you buy a vehicle, plane, boat, whatever, eventually you're going to break something. Yeah. You're going to do something wrong. I myself, yeah, I took a big airplane and made it into a trash bank can size so you know it you're going to break you're going to do something wrong the newer technology now has safe in it it lets a radio has a switch on it that you have intermediate basic and advanced when you put it in advanced it turns all the technology off any aircraft when you move let's say the aileron stick you'll wing it up like so and on a normal aircraft then to, you have to level the wing back out, push the opposite direction. With a safe, the minute you leave off the stick, it levels itself out. And once you get to the point where you say, I'm good enough now, I can go to advanced. You flip it into advanced and you roll it upside down and you're headed into the ground. I call it at mock crash speed. You can push a panic button or you can flip it back into the basic or intermediate and the plane will level itself out. So the... The days of crashing it because you didn't know what to do, you panicked, is, is virtually gone. However, you still can run into a telephone pole, uh, power lines, tree. That's my experience anyhow. <laughs> so for more information, JP, on anybody who's interested in uh, RC cars, boats, trucks, planes, they should be giving you a call, right? Yes, they should give us a call at 419-738-2007. And remember, we've been doing it now for 49 years, so we know what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. J.P. Metz from Dad's Toy Shop has been our guest. And for more information, as always, you can check us out on the web at inohiocountry.com. We'll have a link to their site as well. J.P., thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Dan, for coming in. Your outdoor fun starts here at Dad's Toy Shop. See us today for all of your favorite remote control land, air, and watercraft, and so much more. Dad's Toy Shop in downtown Wapakoneta is your one-stop shop for all of your hobby needs.